Hello, everybody, and speaking of zero hour mega drought in California. Now, uh, one startling fact came out about the California drought this week as that state struggles to adapt itself to uh, the desperate need for water there. Interesting fact, striking fact reported by the New York Times, which is that according to a study, a single almond, a single almond requires a gallon of water to grow. So uh, that's a lot of lawn watering, for, for example, just to create a single almond. The point being that big agriculture is a principal contributor to the uh, water crisis. And yet, of course, big agriculture is a principal part of the economy, uh, not just here in California, not just here in the United States, but worldwide so there are implications to dialing back on agriculture but also that the way we do agriculture uh creates an enormous consumption of water now the irony of course is that as a friend of mine says you can eat eight almonds and still be thirsty now i uh, would that it were otherwise would that instead of drinking eight glasses of water a day i could just eat an almond but the fact is eat a handful of almonds, you're thirstier than ever. So the water is going to, in effect, no practical use. And we don't mean to be lighthearted about it. It is a serious problem. It is a grave problem. Now, one of the questions that has come up in terms of uh, the California drought is, was that drought caused by climate change or was it part of ongoing patterns? We have seen mega droughts in uh in california and elsewhere going well back into pre-columbian times now the fact is this no scientist questions that water shortages are increasing as a result of global climate change in this case of global warming no virtually no reputable scientist disagrees with that no reputable scientist disagrees with the notion that even when droughts appear for cyclical reasons, they are made worse by global warming, or that when when these droughts appear, they are made worse by the human use of environmental resources. So it doesn't matter, in a sense, whether this specific drought was caused by climate change or not. Climate change is changing the planet. As a result, we will see more of these droughts. As a result, these droughts will be worse, and we need to do something about it now a study at columbia university says that um according to their conclusions the war in syria is is caused in large part by the ongoing drought in that country they presented strong evidence that the syrian drought is partially attributable to climate change as a result of human behavior so uh, look, the, the fact is this other studies, including the defense department research has shown that we could be facing a world with massive, uh, displacement of human beings, massive refugee problem, massive increased risk of war, any number of huge changes in our individual lives. In fact, you know, we can joke about the almond, the almond may be a thing of the past someday or an, or a rarity only available to the ultra wealthy. Many things large and small about our lives are likely to change about climate change. And those who say, well, you can't prove the California drought is being caused by climate change. It's like the people who used to argue, uh, you can't prove that this hurricane was caused by global warming, even though we know there will be many more and there will be more intense hurricanes as a result. It's like the people after the uh, poisoning of Love Canal in upstate New York, uh, when incidents of cancer among children skyrocketed, said, well, you can't prove that this child isn't the one in 20 that would have gotten that disease anyway. The fact is we know that climate change is changing our world. We know that our behavior is making it worse, and we know that it it's our responsibility to do something about it. I'm Richard R.J. Escal, and this is The Zero Hour.